Hi all, I'm Kevin Davis from the Canyon River Grill and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do with pheasant. So this is a wild pheasant um, that we harvested and it's for personal consumption but obviously at the restaurant we use a food grade pheasant when we do, when we do pheasant. Either way, this is my favorite way to prepare it and there's a number of reasons why and I'll show you. Okay, so we're going to get started. First of all, I'm going to inspect the breast and I'm going to look to see and make sure that there are no BBs okay which is very important and so then secondly I'm going to take this tenderloin and I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to take my knife and make an incision here and butterfly that out like that okay so that it lays flat now I'm going to take a piece a plastic wrap. I'm going to dot it with a little oil. I'm going to place the pheasant breast on, a couple more drops of oil. I'm going to leave myself about, uh, I'm going to say, 18 inches of overhang here to give myself plenty of room for when I pound it out. Okay, now lay this flat, smooth it out, and take my cleaver with the flat side, very gently, because this meat is very tender. Start in the middle, and pound out. Now, this is a great thing to do for a number of reasons. One, you can thoroughly, and most importantly, thoroughly inspect the breast make sure that there are no BBs in it <laughs> because it is very unpleasant if you actually have to bite in one of these things and um, so anyway I'm gonna take a look at it you can actually hold it up to the light and see that there's nothing in it okay now I'm just gonna do one I have a couple here but I'm just gonna do one so I'm gonna open this up meanwhile I turn my um, I turn my range on to high Okay. Now when you cook this, you don't want to cook it too high, okay, because the breading will burn. All right, here we are. So I'm going to salt, fresh ground pepper. I'm going to flip the side over into the flour, and I'm going to do a traditional flour, egg, breadcrumb, pane. Going in with salt, pepper. Okay, so when I, when I flour, so um, this is gonna be my wet hand, this is gonna be my dry hand. And I will go dry, shake it off, okay? And then with this hand, oh, actually this is my wet hand, so. Flip it over, okay, to make sure it's completely covered. And then into the breadcrumbs. And now I'm gonna work with my dry hand. And that way you don't get your fingers battered, okay? You have to do a couple of these, it's a good way to do it. All right, there we are, okay. Now breadcrumbs are on. I'm going to change my gloves and now I'm going to use clarified butter okay and the reason why I use clarified butter is clarified butter will still give it that beautiful butter flavor but it will hold a, a much higher smoking point temperature okay so I'm going to put my gloves on and get my clarified butter nice and hot and this is gonna happen very, very quickly. So whatever you're serving this with, you're gonna to wanna to have that ready to go. Okay, and here we go. So, shake it off into the pan. Oh yeah. Now, at this point I'm gonna lower my flame because I don't want it to cook too fast. It will, it will burn. So you wanna be careful with it. 
okay? And you want to have it, I'm using a Teflon skillet. I'm going to move around in the pan, so I'm going to have a nice, even, golden brown on it. And as if you notice, um, yeah, second good. It, it, it does require uh, a, a fairly good amount, a large amount of clarified butter. Basically, you're, you know, you can call it saute, but you're pan frying at this point. Okay. So notice how I flip it around, and now over. Yeah, look at that. And so felic, uh, pheasant is very delicate, okay? And um, you you don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss the subtle nuances of the, of the pheasant. So you want to uh, make sure that um, it's a brief cooking process. This thin fillet cooks very fast. Um, you don't want to over, overcook it because it can tend to be a little dry. So um, this way, though. I think you're going to find that it has a really nice window of when when it's cooked. So I'm going to get my plate ready to go. And let's check the bottom. The bottom is beautiful golden brown. I'm going to evacuate a little bit of the oil and sediment out of the bottom of the pan. I'm going to plate up. Now I'm going to make a brown butter. So. Have whole butter. That should be enough. And I'm gonna melt. I'm gonna take it off. Now, obviously, the pan's very hot, and you you want to be very careful with this. It's such a quick process and a short window that you don't you don't want to overdo it. Okay. So I'm gonna even cool my pan off a little bit because I want I want my brown butter. To be perfect and a lot of times people have a question of when their butter is actually brown and i will tell you my favorite uh method of determining when the butter is brown is that you'll hear that bubbling you'll hear that bubbling you'll hear that bubbling and when it goes quiet it's ready okay that is a brown butter okay from here i'm gonna add i'm gonna take it off the flame turn the flame off I'm going to add a squeeze of lemon juice. Actually, I'm going to add my parsley first so I can fry my parsley. So I have a little chopped parsley frying. Squeeze the lemon juice, okay? And then I'm going to add my capers, but I'm done cooking there, okay? I'm going to add my capers, okay? I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Fresh ground pepper. And then Finally, I have some nice lemon segments. Now you don't want to cook these at all, really, because they'll fall apart. So, lemon segments in, toss, toss, toss. Okay, now. Ready to plate and serve. And I'm just gonna take my time, make sure I get a little bit of everything evenly distributed all the way across. A little bit of butter. Burn was set around the edge. And there you have it, folks. That is a panade pheasant breast. And if you have, if you're a hunter or you have friends who hunt and you have a chance to get one of these and try it, I will tell you, uh, you won't regret it. It is absolutely delicious.